Hello there, everybody, and welcome to episode one of The Final Sect. This is going to be probably my last playthrough of Amazing Cultivation Simulator ever, and it's going to be with all the mods that you see here, which add in a lot of extra content. It's going to be a expanded run, therefore, and I'm going to do my best to beat this game for the very first time which will result in a dead dragon if we do everything right. So there are a lot of little quality of life things in here. There's a couple of things that just add up more content. Check them out at your own leisure. Just pause the video and check them out there and you can find them in the mod store. That being said, we are going to play immortal mode here and we're of course going to play on a large map. I will not play around with extra immortal settings here because, you know, this is already going to be hard enough already. Of course, there would be a lot of fun things that you could go for, but I'm personally too much of a wuss for that. We're going to go and have a regular gameplay experience in immortal mode. I still have to beat that, so why should I make the game harder for me than it already is? So, it's been a hot minute since I played that game for the last time, so a couple of things I might have forgotten, I might need to research again, but I feel like it's uh, going to be a really, really good time since ACS2 has been postponed to 2024, and I somehow have a slight shadow of a doubt that it will be even closely resembling what we're uh, playing right here. I, well, well, I'm a little bit, uh, I think the, I'm afraid that it won't get better than that. Whatever. So we're going to roll our first characters here. So I want to guide you this time through the entirety of the process, because, you know, selecting the characters and all those things, well, they, nothing is simple about this game. Let's start on a different end. What we're looking for now on this character, first and foremostly, I am looking for somebody with a high amount of luck. This is going to be the person that's uh, be uh, that's going to be our founding character, and therefore, well, luck is the only stat you cannot really pimp on your own volition. There are no items that make it easier for you. So we have this mod running, which allows me to see whether or not the uh, higher art will be fitting for me or not. So we're going to, well, this guy's already pretty good. How's his chi sense? Perfect. So I could roll now for somebody way better, admittedly. But since we're going to uh, go over many, many people in the future, we're going to leave it like that. That being said, I just want to point out if you want to min-max this game properly, this is probably one of the only people in the game where you have full control about how good or bad he, she is. Therefore, I'm playing a little bit simple here, but you could get more out of that. So, the evil god art. Hmm. Well, sadly, we're not really... Wow, luck and intelligence. This is uh, modded content, by the way. Regular game doesn't have that. So, let's see. The Myriad Artifact Law is pretty good as far as I remember. It has really good skills available that are otherwise a tad bit harder to, to come by. Is this okay for me? Am I skipping out on some bigger things here? I don't think so. Trade pickers. Oh, speaking about trades, good temper. Black Tortoise Meridians, well, this would be only interesting if we'd be a body cultivator on this character, if I am not mistaken there. So, here those folks, as you can see, we cannot pick any traits for them, but what I like to do here is at least roll for a decent chi sense. Let's see. As you can see here, anything beyond 30 is already rare. And yeah, look at this. Well, the, the, the other stats are really not cool. 45, oh yeah, Th this is a really good standard frame. We can do a lot of heavy lifting with this fella. Welcome, very good character. We can do some good work with that. So 37, but no luck at all. Luck is so important in this game. 
Oh, I just rolled away a very lucky person. Because you have to roll against many, 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 and then a few more odds in this game to progress. And therefore, people with high luck, they, they basically allow you to cheat through the progress uh, loopholes a little bit. Because once your luck is high enough, your chance of not failing certain roads grows lower and lower. It's really powerful. So I think I'm going to stay with these three dudes. I am quite okay with that. Of course, on your own, you can also go for the Reincarnator if you know a couple of cool names. I don't know too many of them. I never played too much with that feature. So, let's get started. We got ourselves in this law, let's see if I remember correctly. Yeah, there's a lot of max chi increasers in that one. Let's see. Chi sense increase, that's also very, very important. Yeah, this is a pretty cool law for... Um, for pretty much everybody here. Okay, so we're starting out here. I, I forgot to configure the map more closely. Oh geez, well, we're uh, starting out on a basic biome then. I don't care too much about that. It's not gonna be too much of an issue, I hope. So we got ourselves the most basic of things. First thing you gotta do, build a bonfire. I really hope that I can remember how all this worked. This game is so obscure and occult and obscenely mysterious that, well, it's pretty harsh to get through this. So, this is our friend. This guy will take care of us in the beginning of the game. He's also, well, how to put it, pretty good if you just want to get yourself into trouble. So, let's see. Mm. If I remember correctly, I could order them to walk somewhere, but we also should set up these expiration marks. Right. So, we got to get ourselves a base, all the basics going for starters. So, we're going to build ourselves a well. And we're going to chop ourselves some trees. No magic mysterious trees have been sighted so far, mm -hmm. except for that little uh, spirit one guy, uh, spirit wood guy here. Okay, so first things first, people need a roof above their heads. And let's see, oh, there's a couple of new things. This is new. So let's say work-wise. I think... Do we have somebody? Oh yeah, we need a couple of buildings here. Oh, I remember. We need the timber station because we need to transform that wood into timber. And... Well... I do remember the handcraft station being really important. Stonework won't be important for it now because we don't have any of that material available. Let's set up a tic-tac-toe game so our folks won't grow too bored. Alright. So, to chop trees we will need an axe. I remember that one. So, Let's put the logging duty on for everybody. We need wood to get the job done. There we go. You can also punch the trees if you have no axe available, which is currently what we're doing. Because it's just better than not doing it. So. Ah, yeah, I remember. To build anything, we need the... Material workplace, I think this is what it was called. And then we need to produce here some timber. Otherwise, we cannot produce anything. So we can now turn up the logger um, duty for everybody. I found my mistake. We got ourselves some timber. It's pretty okay. Let's let them stop before they hurt themselves. Because you can hurt yourself when you're punching wood too hard. So, let's hope nobody will die because I'm getting my stuff done too slowly. 
right. Timber station and handcrafting station are done. No, they're not yet. All right. Looks like all the materials have been supplied now. All right. We can get our first person into cultivation right from the get-go, but I strongly advise against that because you would be missing out on a pair of hands to work for you. Because right now we really need everybody working as a team so to say all right so we got that next up we will require let's see i can produce dried meat here so we're going to produce that endlessly and at the handcrafting station let's make ourselves a couple of bows i also want somewhere where we stash our stuff so where was that again i think here area exactly storage there we go. All very basic, but it's okay. Or start is very basic too. The uh, the bows will allow us to survive against whatever will attack us, and it'll also allow me to kill that bear and transform him into tasty, tasty food. So we're going to go now next for couple of sleeping uh, sleeping rooms so something really really basic whoops so door one door two door three oh yeah this was the game with the clunky uh, hotkeys <laughs> yeah right so this door is here so We're going to make these rooms look a little bit like that. Very simple stuff. Let's not overdo it. Life in the sect is not supposed to be a luxurious one. And we got to make sure that we get our job done quickly before people start to freeze or start to die from hunger. All those things happen quite quickly in this game. And all of the three starting people are very valuable. I don't want to lose anybody of these. They're just too important for the um, for, for the entire um, progress of my game. So we're going to equip this one to one thing. And this fine person here will get the next one. Ah, oh, yeah, I can't equip it because it's currently been hauled, isn't it? Yep. So, is the last one already crafted? No, it's not. So, the very basics are being set down. That's really, really good. And in case you didn't know yet, um, we need to put our sleeping rooms into this direction because otherwise the Feng Shui would kill my people. This game takes Feng Shui really damn serious. If you build a door into the wrong direction, you can get a heart attack in there. And die off of it not over it's exaggerating here tiniest little bit it's just like that wood wall is under attack so this is one of those situations where i'm actually quite happy that i brought up the bow so I right click the attack sign so he's uh, going to do this until the death of this creature and now the mysterious cultivator is uh, immediately going for um, the rescue. We just need to let Wen Feng run away. Boom, done. So we can now uh, hunt that creature. Wild creatures some sometimes attack your uh, your sect. Regular happening, and this guy is protecting you from the, the fallout of uh, of that. Wen Feng got hurt. Oh no. will hide fully. All right. Took a blow from the wolf, obviously, but nothing too, uh, too dramatic. Okay. So we're obviously, we, we obviously ran out of wood there. So we've got to get ourselves some more wood going. People are training in the morning because they're uh, trying to get themselves ready for cultivation. I think somehow that I shouldn't do this. 
Okay, we have another, had another wolf here. Trying to be smart. Well, I don't mind them because they will provide food for the sect, so it ain't that bad. So, yeah, we need more lumber. Later, we're going to automate that a little bit, but not now. It's not the time for that yet. Currently, I just want to hope that everything gets done in time before we suffer some severe problems there. Especially since our food stockpiles are just that low early on. We need to get some farming going and all, but I want to start farming after we have set up shop here. It's pretty smart to start with the mundane tasks or you go for the whole cultivation deal and all because after all you need to take care of the human needs of your uh, sect people first otherwise they'll die simple as that all right so we have already two people in their beds one of them still sleeps on the floor well let's put some flooring down Make this place a little bit more lively. I should also get myself some, yeah, some decorations in there, but we didn't get there yet. So, Lost Scrolls. Eh, <laughs> we're a little bit away from that, I'd suppose. All right. Let's see. We'll be able to expand on our progress so far. Oh, these are big trees. Let's let them live for now. And I also want to have a couple of extra tim uh, timber axes, pickaxes, farming tools, you name it. All those things will help my people to get their jobs done without uh, taking forever for it, basically. There we go. So we probably should go hostile on that bear while the mysterious cultivator friend is still around. It's a nice trick to uh, attack whatever um, is around there. Because some, once somebody gets uh, hurt, he'll be in there. And we need that food quite badly. It's a pretty nice um, way to get your starting stuff done. In my opinion, at least. So, let's keep chopping them trees. And once the living area has been finished, we're going to set up a little bit of a workshop area and a warehouse. Then I have to find out where there's some stone on this map. We need to put up a stove for correct, you know, for proper food. But the basic, the very, very, very basic things are down so far. Good. Let's set up some training spots. They're uh, horrible training spots, but they are at least around. So we can see that people are doing their job there. Good. So far, so good. We need to explore this place a little bit further. Like I said, I need to find out where there's stone. And also, I need to find out whether or not there are some other hostiles or... Well, all right. They are not hostile, but some animals that are worth attacking while the mysterious stranger is still defending my place. Well, ah, uh, dang. A new home. So we got everything. We can now build advanced furniture and advanced workstations. Beautiful. Like to see that. Looks like we finally got all the timber available. I still don't know what the uh, trigger of air was, but whatever. So what did we unlock? First off, let's build those oil lamps. But. Ah, yeah, we have now the, the real deal stuff. Sewing table, loom, medicine table, furnace mill. Yeah, I see. So, let's see. Now, well, let's build up the place first. I 
There is no certain need of haste right now. Good. We're crafting the, the, uh, the tools that I ordered. That's really, really good. A frog has come to my sect. Beautiful. We have a pet frog now. Ribbit. It is as it is. All right, that material workplace, nobody needs it anymore. Brilliant. So we're going to work with the material. So this is now the point where you could swallow the um, forming pill and transform one of your folks into a cultivator already. Then we could explore a little bit around our area. I'm not down for that right now. I want to build up this sect a little bit more thoroughly before we get into that area. Therefore, the most important things right now, we need to get ourselves more building materials. You could pilfer building materials from the neighboring um, ruins of your old sect, but I don't want to play the same old, same old start every single time. Therefore, we're going to make it a little bit different this time. There's an old box for Luton here. It's pretty interesting too. Usually they uh, lie deep in my domain somewhere. And let's plan some stuff. Oh boy, 30 wood. Nice. So we're going to plan a little bit there. So first of all, we're going to make... Nah, we're not going to make a storehouse here yet. I want to do this once I have more material. No. We're going to make now the workshop. Here again, it's really important that the door is pointing towards the right direction. The Feng Shui demands that this door is pointing to the... Uh, to the east, if I remember correctly. Ah, well, training spots have to go. So, I really hope that this will be large enough, but I am positive. So, there we go. Like I said, make this place more lively. Once the sect is set up and running, we're going to transform our, uh, our dude into a cultivator, and then we're going to see where this will lead us. So, glad to be back in the cultivation world. It's been a while, by the way, in case you didn't know. But, uh, I really felt like I wanted to do at least one more run with the uh, modded content that I prepared, and a big thanks to all the people from the community to help, which helped me to sum up all those mods. I'm gonna put them also down in the description box, you know. And speaking about these things, there is also a, another gameplay channel of mine in the topmost of, uh, section of the comments. Click that link, subscribe. Once it hits 1,000 subscribers, I'll be uploading way more gameplay content there. It's a pretty nice thing that I have planned. So. We're going to put down some lighting here. And then we can finally move the workstations in there. Heavy snow. Oh dear. Hopefully nobody will die of that. So. Just notice that when I speed up the game too much, it turns black. Not my, uh, not my preferred thing. So, more lost scrolls. I don't need these yet. So, let's move the handcraft station in here. And I think it's really ah about time to find out where I can uh, get me some stone I wanted to say. But that problem has been resolved already. Beautiful. So, we're going to chop some more trees there. It's really important that we get that uh, wood going. And most importantly, we need to get this uh, building space free, you know? It's just very important. Let's get ourselves some more building timber. And now we need to get ourselves a stonework table together. Where we can then refine the stone that we're worrying here. So what do we have? Jade? Grey? Dark steel? Cinnabar? Well, not too bad. A couple of useful things. 
Oh, uh, new base on the block. So let's see. This is really in, uh, interesting me. So because we can totally need new people at the beginning of the game. That uh, request for joining us comes really, really uh, timely. Yes. So we're going to expand this uh, little thing here. You can also go for the dormitory style, meaning you don't give everybody a single room, but you put people into several people into one room. Game halfway expects that from you. It's actually, since the game is heavily rooted with Chinese culture, it's actually weird if you give everybody a single room in their culture, as far as I understood things. They'd be not expecting that. So, we're going to refine some brownstone blocks there. And here we go. We gotta check out what her profile's looking like. Mm, there. So, this girl's a keeper. Jeez. Please stay. She's a natural born cultivator. Very, very lucky. I don't know. Maybe the mods make also the people um, show up more often that are compatible with um, with cultivation. I don't know yet. In all honesty, I have no clue what the hell I have modded into my game. <laughs> That's actually the case. But the good point is, I have played this game more than enough to notice the stuff that I don't know yet. So, well... Mm -hmm. I'll be noticing when things show up that I don't know yet. So this will be the place where we drop down the stove, you know, where the food will be cooked. And I think that's a good spot to drop the ball for the very first episode, my friends. I'm delighted to be back in the cultivation again, and I hope you enjoy. Feel free to drop me a comment down below. Feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up. I'd be delighted to have one. And... Feel free to check out in the description box down there the link to my Discord if you want to have a hangout on my community. And of course, PayPal, Patreon, and Buy Me a Coffee are ways and means to support my content creation business, and I'd be delighted if you'd give them a look. That being said, I'm very grateful for you spending your time here on my channel. Thanks for watching this video until the very end, and I hope you'll be coming back for the next episode of The Final Sect. See you there, and have a good one, everybody.